In our Don't Waste Your Money report tonight, if you ever need a phone number for a business, most of us just usually Google it. It's what one Amazon member says she did trying to contact customer service, but it turns out that can sometimes backfire. I'm embarrassed. I feel like I've been used. Paula says she called the number that came up as Amazon customer service on a Google search. They answered the phone Amazon. When Paula explained she forgot her password and was locked out of her account, the person on the other end offered to help. We'll get you back into your account, but first we have to do a couple things. But the rep didn't work for Amazon at all and conned her into purchasing multiple Amazon gift cards. Nothing is getting charged to your account. This is all for account verification on our side. And they got me back in into the page to reset my password at the end of it. Paula showed they kept emails confirming her purchase of the gift cards. She suspects the fraudster hacked her account to access the gift cards. Amazon provided this statement. We monitor for suspicious activity, including gift card activity and work with law enforcement and consumer protection agencies to investigate and take action on bad actors. A member of our team has reached out to the customer to get additional information. Adal Rodriguez, a consumer protection expert at the Better Business Bureau of Southern Colorado, says we should all be aware of what's going on here. And especially now on the day of using Siri or Alexa, like we've talked about, um, unfortunately, a consumer can ask their device to contact customer service for Amazon or wherever it might be, and that could pull up a fraudulent number. Rodriguez says the BBB scam tracker shows customer service imposters are making big money off of unsuspecting callers. I think absolutely there are consumers that are accidentally, of course, reaching out to scammers and going to them. Um, when they're not going through the company websites or um, in ensuring that they have the right number before they're actually speaking to someone. So yes, it's, it gets even riskier because now it's just two-way street, unfortunately. And your best bet for dealing with Amazon is through the site itself in their customer feedback section.